Okay, let me show you a magic trick. You ready? Whoa. Impressive, right? Well, what happened to gravity? Oh. Well, this feels like a Newton deja vu. You know the great scientist who discovered gravity, don't you? But did Newton really discover gravity? Did it always exist? Or did Newton just happen to chance upon it and discovered its properties? Well, today we are going to discuss the interesting phenomenon that is gravity. gravity. It is one of the fundamental forces of nature. And as you know, any force acting between two objects is either a push or a pull force. Gravitational force is a force that attracts or pulls any two objects with mass towards each other. Gravitation is what keeps the planet in their orbits around the sun. It's also what keeps the moon orbiting around the earth in a fixed path. Gravitation is what makes us fall back onto the ground when we jump up. And did you know that gravitation is also what causes the formation of tides in the ocean? Fascinating, isn't it? You know that when an object moves in a circle, its speed remains constant. But because the direction of the object is constantly changing, it moves in a circle, its velocity also keeps changing. This is because velocity is the speed of an object in one particular direction. And since the object's velocity is constantly changing, we can say that it is accelerating. The concept of centripetal and centrifugal force is something that I'm sure you have experienced on a regular basis. Can you think of an example? Well, you know when you're traveling in your school bus and the bus driver takes a sharp right or left turn, you tend to lean to the opposite direction of the turn, right? This is because the centripetal force is acting in the direction of the turn. And there is also another force that pushes you outwards. That is in the direction opposite to that of the turn. What do you think this force is called? And why does this phenomenon occur? The centrifugal force is a force pointing away from the center of the circle. Both the centripetal and the centrifugal forces are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. Similarly, there is a gravitational force between the moon and the earth that tries to pull the moon towards the earth. The centripetal force acting on moon as it moves around the earth keeps the moon in motion. As seen in the car story I told you, the moon also tries to keep moving in a straight line, tangentially to its orbit. But the gravity of the Earth pulls the moon towards it, and the moon goes into an elliptical orbit around the Earth. Okay, so now that you know how gravity works, in the next video, we're going to go over gravity in more detail and find out about Newton's equation to calculate its pull on other objects. Tutor me. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.